Hi everyone, Chen here, and in this video, I would like to share with you details on GOL's patented absolute calibration method, which is the most accurate and reliable way to set the distance amplitude correction, or DAC curves. As you may know, GOL screening leverages on guided wave technology to rapidly, accurately, and reliably detect corrosion and erosion in metal pipes. The setup typically consists of a transducer ring, wave maker collector, and a laptop computer with the WavePro software. Geo screening works by using a transducer ring to transmit guider waves along the pipe axially. These guider waves will then interact with existing pipe features or defects, and the reflected guider waves are measured by the transducer ring. These guider wave signals are then processed by the WavePro software to produce two main results. Firstly, the A scan can be obtained, which is a plot of signal amplitude against distance. This gives us information about the axial position of the defect, as well as an estimate of the defect severity. Secondly, the unrolled pipe display, or C-scan, which leverages on full matrix capture technology to give information on the defect's circumferential position. The guide wave modes that GOL uses are the torsional and flexural modes, which are represented by the black and red signals on the A-scan respectively. The severity of the defect can be estimated by the amplitude of the black and red signals relative to the call deck. For more information, you can refer to the international standards such as ASTM uh, E2775-16. Now, decks are not only important to account for the effects of reflection and damping, but they also provide a link between signal amplitude and the cross-sectional area change. So on the A scan, the decks are represented by the dashed lines. And by default, there are three main deck curves, which are the flange, weld, and call decks. Typically, the pipe circumferential girth welds are used for weld deck calibration and are assumed to be 22.5% cross-sectional area change. However, in most cases, this assumption may not be as accurate as you think. This is because the cross-sectional area change is affected by the actual weld dimensions, which can vary from weld to weld, especially in field welds. Secondly, pipe wall thicknesses also affect the cross-sectional area change of welds. So for example, a weld with fixed dimensions will give a smaller pipe uh, cross-sectional area change when it is found in a thicker wall pipe. Thirdly, the weld cross-sectional area change could change with time due to the weld corrosion and erosion effects. Now let us assume we are inspecting an inaccessible road crossing pipe. Assuming that the wells on this pipe are not 22.5%, then the depth curves that are set would be inaccurate. And in this case, we detected an indication of a defect, and hence it will be misclassified as a severe defect due to the inaccurate depth. Now this mis misclassification of the defect severity could alarm the asset owner unnecessarily and cause them to urgently dig up the pipe only to reveal a minor defect. Now, with absolute calibration, the well deck would have been measured and accurately set to 17% cross-sectional area change, for example, in this case. And this means that the indication is correctly classified as a Cat 3 minor defect. And consequently, the asset owner would now have a more accurate and reliable inspection information to make an informed decision about their asset. Absolute calibration is accurate because it calculates the true reflection coefficient of the welds in the actual inspected pipe. Now this is performed by using guide wave energy conservation equations and leveraging on accurate amplitude measurements using the WaveMaker GUL screening system. The absolute calibration method is patented and is only available to use in GUL screening systems, which includes the WavePro software. WavePro is GUL's guide wave testing software that is available when you purchase a GUL screening system. The license is perpetual, which means that you only pay for it once with no annual fees. Also, there is no limit on the number of installations, so that means you can install it on as many computers as you like for flexibility and reliability advantages. In addition, regular software updates are free and can be downloaded from our website. Our software is also updated regularly and constantly bring you new and improved features to improve inspection speeds and accuracy.
Absolute calibration is fast and semi-automatic. It can be performed by clicking on the reference features and clicking on reverb reference. And we shall look at a few examples shortly. And aside from welds, we can also calibrate the deck on other symmetrical features like flanges. And this is useful in some scenarios such as flange pipe sections. Furthermore, the reference features used for calibration do not need to be physically accessible. This can be useful in cases such as insulated, road crossing, or buried pipes. Now, there are three common scenarios where absolute calibration can be applied. Firstly, in cases where there are welds on each side of a ring. Secondly, when there is a weld on one side and a flange on the other. And thirdly, when there are flanges on each side of the ring. Okay, so I've got three files open and each file represents the, each of the scenario which I just described. So we're looking at the first scenario where we have uh, one weld on each side of the transducer ring. Okay, So the first thing we do um, is of, obviously to uh, make sure you, that you've added all your existing features on your line. So in this case, all of the features have already been added. We've got uh, lots of welds and lots of simple supports. Okay. Now, the first step for absolute calibration would be to go to configure deck levels and make sure that under deck start value, okay, make sure that the half deck start point continuously change to match uh, reverb amplitude is chosen. All right, make sure that uh, frequency dependent deck rate set by user is selected. Okay, uh, and the well deck level to make sure that you've selected calculate from marked well via reverb cap calculation okay so this would use the this would assign the well deck to be the value calculated by absolute calibration now we hit okay then next is to click on the features that we want to select as the references so for example w3 and click on reverb reference and we do that for the other weld in the other direction click on it hit reverb reference okay then we click on the same weld now we're gonna hit uh, use to define weld deck level and we're also going to put use weld to set decay rate okay now this would normally automatically assign another weld behind it or in front of it uh, to set uh, as, uh, as a reference for the decay rate. So essentially, they are, we are using W4 and W5 to set the attenuation rate of, these, uh, of the deck. Okay. So in summary, after absolute calibration, uh, there are two results that we have we can observe um, firstly if we click on the well deck we can note that the well deck cross-sectional area change is no longer 22.5 percent it has been accurately measured and set to 17.6 percent with reference to well 4 okay so um, and the second bit of information is the decay rate which is measured by using uh, weld 4 and weld 5 as a reference which is now minus 0 0.341 decibels per meter okay um, the weld deck can be set to with reference to for example weld 3 so in order to do that we can hit on weld 3 and use this to define the weld deck level instead all right uh, yes okay and you notice now that the weld deck has moved up and it has changed to 24.5%. So what this tells us is that the cross-sectional area change for these wells are not equal, okay? So this weld is uh, approximately 17% or 18%, and this weld is about 24%, okay? That's it, that's done for this case, all right? We've successfully uh, set the weld deck using absolute calibration, okay? So in the second file, uh, we'll be looking at the second scenario where we have a flange on one end and a weld on the other. Okay, so here we're gonna do the same thing. 
we go to uh, configure deck levels select the third option select the first option and reverb calibration again press ok and we choose the reference uh, features again so on the negative direction in the negative direction we click on the flange and we go reverb reference and in the positive direction we choose the weld and go reverb reference okay then we go to use to define weld deck level and we go to use weld to set decay rate okay and notice that this is automatically selected as well because wave pro chooses the uh, next weld to use as your decay rate okay we observe the two uh, results of absolute calibration as well we can see that the weld that we've set to weld one is at 21.2 percent um, and if assuming that we're setting the weld deck to be relative to weld one then the weld deck is at 21.2 percent again not 22.5 percent as we would typically assume without absolute calibration so in the third file uh, we have the third scenario where we have a flange on each side of the transducer ring. So this is typically found for uh, flanged pipe sections, uh, which are typically quite short and found in uh, refineries. So in this case, uh, we'll do the exact same thing. We'll go to configure, deck levels, make sure that we've, we've selected match reverb amplitude over here. Uh, frequency dependent, deck spread rate set that's good well deck level choose marked well by a reverb calibration uh, press ok this time since we have flanges on each end we will we'll be revealing the flange uh, deck by clicking on the flange icon over here now we do the same thing we choose the reference for absolute calibration so we choose the flange click on the flange in the negative direction hit reverb reference and do the same for the flange in the positive direction hit reverb reference okay now the only difference this time is that we would need to manually set our uh, decay rate so in this case we'll be selecting our decay rate based on two signals of the flanges that we can see here okay so just make sure that the peaks are touching the, the flange deck level and that's it that's done so i hope you guys found this presentation or this video useful um, and i hope that it gives you insight onto absolute calibration and what it can do for you um, the benefits which includes you know improving the accuracy of your deck level significantly it's the only method out there that can that is accurate and reliable and really quick as you've seen i've just did it for three files in uh, less in about a minute and uh, if there's any questions do send us an email reach out to us don't forget to follow us on linkedin and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you everyone bye bye